Okay, so we'll put in a little plug here, and then we'll do Control Shift, and we'll rotate this thing around, and we'll just pop that right out. Okay, so here's my ports here. Let's go ahead and drop that resolution down. We don't need that heavy. And we'll go in with our clay brush or a trim hole or all the little tricks we've learned. And we'll say, these is where I want my things to plug in. Now, if I go to brush, curve, uh, any, uh, pick one, doesn't really matter. Let's do brush, insert, cylinder here. So we do our brush, insert, cylinder, and it's like, okay, I want this thing here to plug into this thing here. But then it's like, I got to go in here and let's go to our brush settings here and oh wait no I don't want that I want stroke settings so brush and stroke settings for these things but under the curve functions here if I turn off snap I can it'll kind of allow me to kind of go in here and not be so like dictating so I can kind of pull this around and then of course I can go in here to lock start and lock end and now I, you know, I'm free to kind of pull this out and around so I can kind of lock the start in the end once I've got it to that point. And then I can also make my brush size a little bigger. We'll kind of fill that up. So there's a couple things you can do. Now, again, it is wrangling. You can lock your start. You can lock your end. It's still going to kind of want to pull them around. It's still kind of a pain. Um, you can also do it like the Paul Gabri, what I see him do a lot is he just yanks it. Let me go let's turn off lock, start and lock in. He just goes right there here and just like, phew, just like yanks it around, you know, just to kind of get the broad strokes and then goes and refines. Um, one thing I will do if it's a really complex shape I'm trying to hit, like let's make this a little bit longer here. Like if I'm trying to do something like, oh, like on the commander, I've got a, the gun, the ammo belt that's like going in a long swoop and then has to plug into here and plug into here. What I'll do is just a really quick um, and just tap off. I'll go ahead and split mass points. And I'll go ahead and turn off that. So I'll dynamesh this and I'll just put a track in for me. So I can just go through here with my trim dynamic and like I'll just create a path for me to run exactly where I want my curve to go. Now you could also curve frame mesh is also a really good way to like control exactly. We'll do that in a second too, but you can like just carve a path in there. And now we can go to um, brush insert army curve here and let's see we'll do bullets now we can go through here and now the bolts will follow this path you can also hit six I believe which is smooth and that'll kind of so now you, you can have, you can hit six and that'll kind of smooth the curve and then you need to go tap it to update it I believe it's six let's see smooth is six yeah so you can just keep hitting smooth and then tap to update your curve um, you probably want to again turn off snap once you've got it drawn out um, one other thing you can do, let's go ahead and delete, delete. If it's just a simple tube, what I actually prefer to do is go here to a cylinder and then I'll go here to a cylinder and I, you can control drag out a copy of this thing. If you want to you control drag and we'll just kind of rotate this around. So if I want to do like maybe this shape here, What I'll do is just isolate these points here, and then I'll go through and I'll get rid of this cap. Actually, you know what would be easiest? Let's just go through here and we'll do a quick um, group by normals. And I'm going to go over here and do delete, polygroup all. I'm going to go delete, 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 and delete. So now what I can do just to create, oops, and one more. So what I can do to create a simple hose in that shape or a tube, just go through here and we're just going to bridge two holes in here to here and then here to here and then here to here. And there's other, there's other options in there you can do like you can do circle, tight round corners, straight lines, arcs, all that kind of stuff. But that's just a kind of an easier way to kind of get the shape you want sometimes. Um, that's one way. Uh, I was also going to talk about um, that, carving a path. Oh yeah, framing your mesh. So if it's something, if you're lucky enough, where, let's just do the skull here.
to where you just need to wrap something around here. You can just frame your mesh. Let's go ahead and do a slice curve. And then we can just open that up, control shift, and then we'll go into our stroke menu. And then we'll frame our border. And then we can just go to, let's turn off X symmetry here. And we'll go to um, brush, insert army curve M. We'll put bullets around the skull. Oh yeah, now that is a, oh look at that. That's concept art right there. That's probably the coolest thing I've ever made in my life. That is like a metal album cover right there. So we'll go ahead and say that's cool. A little crown of full metal jacket crown there. Sell this to uh, 